The John Morris Show, episode 104. In this episode, the exact PHP skills you need to learn to start getting paid to code. The John Morris Show, your life on code. Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show on johnmorrisonline.com. So, I chuckled a bit when I re- <laughs> when I read this. And you might have seen me ask this question, and, and I do it because I really want to know where you're at, because that's the only way that I really feel that I can help you. So what I'd asked is, what if I told you I could teach you how to master PHP to the point you can start getting work building PHP applications in just the next few months? Now, getting off subject a bit, that's actually an interesting question to ponder, I think. What if, right? Now, you might take a minute and ask yourself that question. What if you could master PHP in the next few months? So well that you'd be supremely confident in taking on projects and getting paid for it. Is that something that would be life-changing for you? In any case, like I said, his answer made me chuckle a little bit. And he said, he responded to me and said, what exactly does mastering PHP entail? Now I chuckle because I remember that feeling and I can relate. And I can always hear the frustration in people's words when they ask me that. And I get asked that quite a bit. It kind of, it's kind of like, just tell me what I need to learn and I'll do it. Now, there's something to be said for the how. And I think a lot of new developers overlook that part. But that's something that I'll get into in a, in a future video. But you can't get anywhere if you don't know the what. And I believe, it's my opinion, that there is a what. This isn't one of those, oh, it depends, non-answers. I believe there's a foundational set of skills any PHP developer needs in order to deliver on projects and get paid to write PHP code. But the problem, in my opinion, is we tend to overthink it. You see, I find so many new developers who think that that list of skills that they need to know uh, to be able to start doing this full-time must be really, really long, right? It must be this huge, massive list. It obviously must include some pretty difficult-to-learn skills, some advanced coding, and stuff that would probably take a while to learn, right? Doesn't it include all of that stuff? Well... In my opinion, here's the truth. 90% of what you do when building applications will revolve around a very limited set of skills. Now, I know that doesn't necessarily sound sexy, but it just happens to be the truth. What's important isn't knowing a 100 things. It's knowing a handful of things really well because you'll use those same skills over and over and over again to build things for clients, bosses, customers, etc. Now, I call these skills the foundation. So let me just tell you what they are. What is PHP, echo, variables, arrays, if else and switch, for and for each loops, while loops, get post, and maybe mail. Now is that all? Like that's it? Really? Yes, in my opinion it is. Because these are the actual skills I use in 90% of what I do. Now understand what I'm saying here. These aren't the only skills that you should learn eventually. You should definitely get into more advanced stuff. But these are what you'll use most, and you can build working applications with just these skills. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but again, it just happens to be true. So let me give you a real-world example. Let's take something like a simple online form. Now, that doesn't really sound like much, right? In fact, you may be even watching this or listening to this thinking, hell, I could build that right now. But you may have heard of something called WooFoo Forms. It's an online service that helps you do something pretty simple, which is build forms. Well, WooFoo was acquired by SurveyMonkey in 2011 for $35 million. And SurveyMonkey itself is all about building forms, surveys. And they do $113 million a year in revenue and are valued at $1.35 billion. And the core of both is just simple online forms. Or even look at WordPress. There's several major plugins 
whose sole purpose is to help users build forms, contact form 7, ninja forms, gravity forms, and others. And ninja forms, for example, has 2.6 million downloads to date. So there's a huge market for this one simple thing. You could get freelance clients or a tech job just with this one thing. And what you need to learn in order to do it isn't much. Building an HTML, HTML form, processing post data, and maybe a mail function. Heck, I could probably teach you to build a pretty nice contact form in about 20 to 30 minutes. And there's over 14,000 people who search each and every month on Google for the phrase contact form. Those are people that would hire you or buy your app. Now, my point with all of this is really, really, really simple. What you need to learn in order to get going is much less than you probably think it is. Now look, reasonable people can quibble over the skill or two that should be on that list. But it's not like there's a hundred more things that you need to add to it or that we would disagree on. And contact forms is just one example. There are hundreds of markets just like this one with people tripping over themselves to hire a developer or buy a product that act, what it actually does is pretty simple. But here's the exciting part. Now you know. You know exactly what's in front of you and I can promise you if you learn these skills and how they all work with one another, I am convinced that you'll be able to deliver on paid projects for clients. There's zero doubt in my mind about that. And the reason is, it's because I've seen it firsthand. My little brother came to me a few years ago, and he was three years into his computer science degree. No job, broke, and suddenly five mouths to feed. He got married to someone who'd had kids, and then they had some kids of their own, and suddenly... He had five miles to feed, and he was desperate for his way out and a way to put food on the table for his family. Now, I made him do two things. One, start taking clients, and two, work through the list I just showed you. And within a week, he had his first client and was actually getting paid to code. Within a month, his confidence had swelled because he was rapidly upping his PHP skills and he raised his prices. And then within two months, he had decided to try to apply at IBM and got hired before ever finishing his degree. Now, just a few years later, he has a six-figure job at one of the fastest growing tech companies in the world. And he's somebody that they rely on heavily. So in two months, that simple list I just gave you gave him more than three years in a CS degree did. And it's because he attacked it. So I want you to think about this. What if? I mean, what if it even took you a year to learn all this? Now, that's a crazy amount of time. But what if absolute worst than worst case scenario, it took you a whole year to learn those skills? Well, how many years will you have left? How many years would that be not working a job you hate? How many years would that be not feeling like you're capable of more? How many years would that be not dealing with annoying bosses and coworkers and so forth? So my point is, even if you believe you have the worst luck or the least capable, that forces will conspire to make things take way more time than they should for you, it's still a thousand percent worth the time and effort to go and learn this stuff because it can change your life. It's my firm belief that the list above is your way out. And you can master all of those skills in my new PHP 101 course, which you can enroll in at johnmorrisonline.com slash php. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, be sure to like it so that I know to make more of this kind of content. If you know somebody who'd benefit from hearing this, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.